Hello, my friends. Uh, nice to see you again here. Uh, today I want to make last lesson about tunic. I am wearing this tunic now, and uh, at the last lessons we learned how to make edging around the neckline and also around armholes. Yes, around the sleeves, small sleeves. And uh, everything looks great. I like this design. Today we will talk about the last part, how to make edging around the bottom line, because I don't, don't like this uh, edging and I want to make everything in one style, so we will create something like this. E edging will be the, almost the same and my tunic I made from one just white thread, so you can see it now. Uh, now a few words about our material, where you can find everything else. Uh, we had already five lessons, this will be lesson number six, and we will finish to make second crochet course for free, just together with you. Uh, we have uh, first about tablecloths, and this one was about tunic. And next we will have new project also to, together with you. So, uh, let's uh, see a few uh, words about this course, where you can find first information, and I will show you my PDF file. So, uh, this is tunic Letia, summer tunic, and you can see this main element that we have here on the photo. Already a few elements, but the main was Letia, and we joined it step by step our motifs. For my tunic, I used 22 elements, and what is really nice, uh, you can join these elements just during the work. When you are making last row in each element, you join this element to the first, to the previous one, and without any problems, any connection seems just during the work, you receive really incredible lace, you receive tunic. Just uh, after we join 22 elements, we start to make edging around neckline, around sleeves, and also now around bottom line. So I like such uh, easy projects, uh, it's really a big uh, joy to make such uh, yes, closers for yourself. It's um, just a big size, yes, of this tunic, and it should be like this, not close to the body, so uh, this is design of summer tunic. And also Lynn from France made such tunic uh, in fantastic colors. Uh, she used few colors and uh, Italian viscose and created a little, little bit different design. She used more elements. She made longer sleeves and uh, fantastic edging around. And now about uh, where you can find previous lessons, where you can find scheme for this element, also big sch scheme how to join these all elements. So we have everything in our free crochet patterns group. And I will show you now my screen and show you better how you can find this all information. So let's see what we have. So this is our free crochet patterns group by Jetty House Crochet School. Uh, we have already uh, a lot of yes uh, members and a lot of friends are here and share with us incredible crochet projects. How to find information about projects? You need to press photos after choose albums and uh, you will start to see all albums with uh, projects. Yes? Uh, you will find each album is about one element, about one lace, and also we have two projects about tablecloths, and also one album is about this tunic. So you need to open this album and you will start to see all necessary information. So we have scheme for first element, so you can download it from here and work at your home. Uh, also we have um, schemes for next lessons, how to make edging. This scheme is how to join, how to join 22 elements like I did it for my yes tunic. And um, after you can see also this incredible results, we have different uh, yes results from my friends, um, different colors, different threads, uh, just uh, really uh, fantastic. Gorgeous blouse, like I told you, made by Lynn. She used more elements for this blouse and incredible colors. And edging she made by using um, these petals from Flower Talisman, just she created uh, incredibly interesting edging around. And we have a uh, gorgeous result, yes. Looks pretty, very nice. And it's really not hard to, to create such project. Also, new variant, yes, created by uh, my friend from Russia, just by Lubov. Uh, she made uh, elements in one color from also 100% viscose, very my favorite thread, and we have such results. 
So you can visit this group, free crochet patterns group, and you can take here a lot of interesting elements. One more time, I will show you that you need to press photos out after albums, and you will find here not only these nine albums. You can press this button, and you will see another projects. We had a lot of workshops, fantastic elements and laces. You can take any anything you want. You can download scheme. For example, my first outer motif you can find here at the beginning. We have flower talisman. You can visit this album and download this scheme. This is my favorite flower, my first outer motif, so you can take it and try to make it your home. And also important information. All video records of uh, workshops you can find in our YouTube channel. And uh, uh, this is our YouTube channel. A link for this uh, channel I will now send you uh, on uh, on the chat. Also, uh, you, if you are watching this video on YouTube channel, yes, uh, you already have this all uh, information because we have here all lessons about elements, about tablecloths, about tunic. Uh, fantastic, yes, workshops, everything you can find here, step by step, how to make beautiful elements, flowers, also square shape elements, twigs, laces, so really a lot of motifs. So we can continue to work. And uh, now I will show you next information. So you know already where to find all beautiful schemes and elements. And now about threads. I uh, received uh, a lot of questions what threads are used for my dresses, projects, and uh, I think it's really important information. I have big experience uh, just working with this thread, Italian Viscos, and uh, this is really high quality and very soft thread. Fantastic for dresses, especially wedding and cocktail dresses. Um, I made a lot of collections from such threads, and now we have a lot of colors. I can show you our store, it's a JT House yarn store and you can find there a lot of beautiful colors. And for this tunique I used very soft white color, it's really nice for summer I think. And like I told you, you can find here uh, a lot of colors. Our summer tunique. Uh, I have such, yes, uh, such scheme. This is the main scheme, how to join all 22 elements and you will receive um, ready tunique. But at uh, the lesson number five, we made edging around sleeves. At lesson number four, we created edging around neckline. And today is the last lesson number six about edging around bottom line. And uh, we can talk about this. I will show you now my hands and we will create this beautiful edging together. You will see everything step by step. Also scheme uh, for this edging you will find in our free crochet patterns group. I will add this scheme after lesson. So I just have here my tunic. I will use um, purple thread to show you edging. In this uh, way you will see better everything. And I will take bottom line and I will I just turn it this work. I need to turn it to the back side and I will work like at the back side. I will start and go around. Around. So we have such edging, such line I don't like really and I want to create here like shells in this place, in this corners. We have a lot of corners and in this way I will receive almost straight line with beautiful picots and interesting edging. So I created a scheme by myself, just uh, I draw this scheme uh, in different colors and I will add the scheme in the end of this lesson to our free crochet patterns group. So now I will start to make it. First I need to join thread. I will join it around second arch, one arch and second arch, around this arch, just join thread. And now I will make uh, switching loops more, it should be four, but I already made one, so now I need to make switching loops more, and this will be first arch. One, two, three. So this uh, arch I will join to the next big arch by single crochet. Next 
one, two, three, four chain loops, and I will join uh, between these two stitches by single crochet. Uh, next, I will make a big shell. Between these two motifs, we have this joining, and to this stitch, I will make uh, seven stitches double treble crochet. So now I have one chain loop, now three times yarn over, and make first stitch to this point between two elements. So we have first stitch, one chain loop, again three times yarn over, and make second stitch to the same point where we had first stitch. Okay, one chain loop, one, two, three times yarn over, and make again big stitch. So we have three stitches, and repeat the same. Uh, we should make uh, seven stitches in this area. To the same point, double treble crochet just. So we have five stitches. Six stitches, one chain loop, and now join symmetrically between these two stitches here. Just make single crochet. So we have first shell. Now one, two, three, four chain loops. Make stitch single crochet around the next arch. One, two, three, four chain loops, and one more single crochet around next arch. 4 chain loops and around the same yes we have here three arches so around middle one all the time I will make two times single crochet and between them we have uh, all the time only uh, arches from 4 chain loops so just repeat them now 4 chain loops and a join between these two stitches Now 4 chain loops. We have here at the top of this element 3 picots. So I will join to the picot, to the first one, just to the middle insert a hook and make single crochet. Ne next 1 chain loop, 1 single crochet to the middle of picot. Next one, yes. And after picot from 4 chain loops. Finish to make picot. Next make 1. Uh, one more single crochet to the same picot. One chain loop and to the third pico one single crochet two. Four chain loops and one more single crochet to this point. And now the same. Uh, I will make few arches from four chain loops. Around middle arch I will make uh, two times single crochet and everything it's not difficult here. Now the last arch here and now again uh, four chain loops and between two stitches I will make single crochet. From here again we have this corner and uh, in the middle I will make shell from uh, seven double treble crochets three times yarn over and start to make seven stitches. One chain loop, one, two, three, So we have four stitches, one chain loop, and a few stitches more to the same point. Just make everything not too tight, not too loosely, be careful, and you will receive beautiful edging around, and this will be the last step. It's really nice to create such projects, not difficult, very yes, interesting to make it from different colors and uh, by using different types of spreads. I finished to make this shell. Now again I will make few arches from 4 chain loops and around these arches, yes, big uh, wide arches, I will make single crochet. Now around this middle arch I need to make two times single crochet and all the time I am using arches from 4 chain loops. One, two, three, four. And now again 
four chain loops between these two stitches I will make single crochet now one two three four chain loops and to the middle of this first picot I will make one more single crochet one chain loop to the next picot one single crochet picot from four chain loops and again one single crochet I will have here one chain loop and uh, to the next picot one single crochet next one two three four I will make just few more arches and uh, next I will show you a second row because I know this is really long uh, row uh, around this all elements and we will uh, not see not, not watch all this work just I will show you by few steps first second and third row and you will see um, this edging Susan, I see a comment watching. Thank you so much. <laughs> I hope you will make such tunique for yourself. We already have five lessons today. We have a lesson, a last lesson. I see Virginia also. Hello, very nice to see you. Lean, Lean, my congratulations to of winning this uh, yes football <laughs> championship. My congratulations. And I see also. Uh, hello, Emma, Wanda also, Sira Karn. Very nice to see you all. I hope you are watching. Just few rows and I will show you edging of this tunic. And that's all. I will wait for results. I know, Lynn, you are making uh, this uh, tunic in black color. So I hope to see the result. So now I will start to make from uh, another side. Yes, where we started. Like I will show you like I will finish this row. So I will start uh, from here and just show you how I will finish this first row and start second one. So I will finish again join new thread and to make few stitches till I reach to this beginning. So but you just need to go in the circle and make all these stitches around all elements to have first row, yes. Now I need to make four chain loops, single crochet around next arch. One, two, three, four and single crochet here after we have this corner so once again I will make just one more shell to have this first basic yes stitches So we have a six double treble crochet now the last stitch after you finish the last stitch one chain loop you will have this scheme in a free crochet patterns group this is the last scheme for this uh, free crochet course that we started together and this course is about tunique summer tunique we made it from only one element so it's really not difficult to make it it's really big size it should be like this and uh, you can join more elements if you want you can change, yes, the main scheme, but principles are the same, just during the work you will join all motifs step by step and after you can make edgings around neckline, armhole lines and bottom line of this tunic and you will receive really nice, yes, closers for yourself. It's really beautiful. So now I am working at the top, the same what I did before and now just a few arches and I will show you how to finish first row. And next we will start second row. In total we have just three rows to just to do. Uh, where I need to finish? Okay, I will finish around this arch, yes. And from here I need to make one more arch. One, two, three, four. And now in this moment I am finishing last row, yes, uh, first row, and I will join to the beginning, just I will make here single crochet. In this moment we finish it to make first row, now we can start second one, uh, start from one chain loop. Uh, next I will make a triple treble crochet, so four times yarn over, four times, and uh, two stitches I will make to the first stitch here, yes, of this shell, and it's really a big stitch, you should make it accurate. First stage is ready. Now 
Again, four times yarn over and make second stitch to the same point. Okay, I have two stitches now, one chain loop, and continue to work this and to make the same uh, two stitches, triple treble crochet to the one point, yes, to the next stitch of this shell. So you need to make two stitches after one chain loop, and again two stitches and one chain loop. And in this way we will make big shells in these corners and our edging will look much more better, almost uh, like straight, yes, line, but will be not so straight, but will be interesting with picots, with interesting combination of stitches and really nice. I really like to make edgings, I don't like to leave these all elements without any edging, It's for me it's not nice. And I will wait for your results. I hope um, my friends will make such tunics in different colors from different threads. And we will just make presentation of your results in our YouTube channel, in our free crochet patterns group and also the other groups that we have. This will be really nice. And the last big stitches so we have this shell now and after a one chain loop we need to skip two arches one two and join to the single crochets uh, that we have in previous row okay next uh, just i will make uh, i will continue to make arches everything is very easy four chain loops and join uh, to the same yes single crochet that we have between Arches in previous row one, two, two, three, four. Join to single crochet again. One, two, three, four, and join by single crochet. One, two, three, four, and again join by single crochet. Next two chain loops. Uh, to the stitch near to this picot, I will make one single crochet. To the middle of picot. One single crochet again, picot from four chain loops, and to the middle of the same picot, one single crochet near to this picot. I will make one more single crochet after two chain loops and join to this stitch. And I continue to make again arches from four chain loops all the time and join to single crochet that we have in previous row. So four chain loops and join to single crochet. Four chain loops and single crochet. Four chain loops and single crochet. And um, we need to stop here. Just skip these two uh, arches and start to make the same big stitches. First one chain loop. After four times yarn over and start to make two big stitches to the first stitch of our shell and second stitch to the same point. Next one chain loop, again four times yarn over and start to make this big stitch. One chain loop and again big stitch. Second stitch to the same point, one chain loop. chain loop and again two big stitches to the next uh, stitch of this shell one two three four don't forget that you will find skin for this edging in our free crochet patterns group and all schemes you can find there just press photos next albums and you will see album about this summer tunique you will have chance to download all schemes for free just and work at your home. If you need to watch uh, video records of previous workshops, you can find them on YouTube channel, also on our page JT House on Facebook and you will just watch them and create everything I'm sure. And 
I hope you will create this project for yourself. So I finished to make this shell and a lot of the stitches. Now again, all the time 14 loops and single crochet step by step. 14 loops and stitch to the single crochet of previous row. Again 14 loops and single crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4. And again single crochet. Now two chain loops. Near to this picot I have single crochet. Now insert hook here and make single crochet to the middle of picot single crochet picot from 14 loops and again single crochet near to this picot one once again I will make single crochet next two chain loops and single crochet now one two three four single crochet and one two three four single crochet so this is uh, second row, it's not difficult, just we have, yes, big stitches in, in the corners. Everything else is very simple, you just need to make arches few times. At the top you will need to make picot, and that's all, not difficult at all. Just be careful with big stitches, uh, make them accurate, not too tight, not too loosely, and you will have nice result. So now we can uh, join again thread and start to make third row. I will show you the, the last row, how to finish this edging. In this moment we have such parts, you just need to iron them. Yes, we have such result. Such result and also at this top parts we have arches and picot. So next I will join once again thread and show you how to make last row. First I will work here just to show you how to finish second row and start third one. This is the last one. 14 loops, single crochet, 1, 2, 3, 14 loops and single crochet, 14 loops and single crochet and again the same. And now at the top uh, I will make two chain loops near to this picot. I have single crochet, so here I will make one single crochet to the middle of picot, also single crochet. Now one, two, three, four chain loops and make picot. Once again single crochet to the middle of picot, one single crochet to the stage of previous row, next two chain loops and single crochet. Now one, two, Okay, let me see to the graphic. After I finish to make, ah, I need to finish this the second row. I will finish it just by making few arches, just 14 loops, single crochet, one, two, three, 14 loops, single crochet, 14 loops, and I will finish now this row, yes. I leave one arch near to this shell. From this point, I will start to make row number three, the last one. So from here, one chain loop just, and now I will make shell from uh, six treble crochet and one picot. So two times yarn over between these two big stitches, insert hook and make first treble crochet like this. Now again. Around the same place, one more treble crochet after picot from 14 loops and uh, two stitches more around the same area. Okay, I need to make three, sorry. So we, we should have here not two stitches, we should have three stitches. So two times here and over. So half of this shell is three treble crochet next uh, picot from 14 loops and again three stitches around the same area. One, two, and three. Next one chain loop. I need to skip uh, three big stitches. One, two, three. Around this part, I will make the same shell from three treble crochet, picot from 
four chain loops and again three treble crochet one two three four this will be picot and again three treble crochet around the same area one two and the last stitch okay uh, next uh, we will make middle shell so skip again three stitches one two three so between these two i will make the same shell first three treble crochet after pick off from 14 loops and again three treble crochet one two three four chain loops and now a three treble crochet one two and the last one so we have three shells now symmetrically i will make two more uh, skip three big stitches and go to this area and make around 1.6 stitches and between them one picot from 14 loops and the last one one chain loop skip three stitches and make last shell from six treble crochet and in the middle we have picot from four chain loops and the last stitch after one chain loop and the join here just uh, we need to skip one arch join to this single crochet and from here start to make a lot of stitches just skip one arch and go to the second one start to make treble crochet just around the arch now second one also around the same arch treble crochet after picot from 14 loops Okay, one, two, three, four chain loops, and now again two treble crochet and pick off from four chain loops. And uh, once again, I will make picot. In the end, we should have four picots. And now I will make last two stitches around the same arch, yes, of previous row. So two treble crochet. So I finished to make all these stitches and picots. Now skip arch and join to this single crochet like this. Next, uh, three chain loops. Skip small arch, join to the single crochet. Next, two chain loops and to the middle of picot, make single crochet, picot again from four chain loops single crochet to the middle of picot and two chain loops join to the stitch of previous row and arch from three chain loops and join to the stitch yes i finished it to make this part uh, i will iron it uh, after and um, it will be bigger just this part and we have also such edging the same i did for sleeves and for neckline so everything uh, will be uh, just uh, uh, you know in one style so it's really nice and good for this work and uh, just um, you need to continue the same uh, from here I will make symmetrically uh, this one at the other side so just we need to repeat the same here and after repeat all these shells yes at the top of this big stitches so that's all you will have this scheme at our free crochet patterns group I will also make uh, this edging uh, by using white thread and that's all our, our tunic, this tunic will be ready. You can find all these uh, schemes in our free crochet patterns group also on our YouTube channel, uh, how to make this tunic. And um, now just I will show you again a PDF file. And um, uh, this is our tunic, I hope you will make it. And few words about the journals, uh, we have this new edition of journals crochet magazines uh, and uh, you if you want to order this magazine printed version you can order on our page i will send you now this uh, link yes crochet magazine jt house number one 
I am working on the second magazine now and this one you can order, it's in English with colored schemes for six elements. Also if you are watching YouTube channel you can find link below this video. Uh, like this information I wanted to show you. If you are watching this video on YouTube channel you will find all, all links below this video for our yarn store, for free crochet patterns group, for uh, also for magazine. Everything you will find. Thank you so much for your attention and uh, I hope you enjoyed this free crochet course about tunic and you will create it by this all material. Um, look for the last scheme now on free crochet patterns group. Thank you so much for your attention and see you very soon. Uh, I will make new workshops for you. So see you very soon and bye bye for now. Thank you for watching.